Greetings out there all you YouTubers. I uh, just wanted to present you with this problem I'm having. Uh, I just recently purchased this bird's nest uh, coral, pink bird's nest coral for $40, which isn't bad for the uh, size. And you can see it's a white Christmas. Uh, bleaching started from the top and the bottom, and this is only after two and a half, two and a half days. Um, I was moving it from bottom to top in my tank. Uh, as the fish store recommended, they said, you know, start at the bottom, do a week in the bottom, week in the middle, and then you're clear to put it up top. So I did everything as I was supposed to, and as soon as I had it up top, I want to say three or four days after being up there, it started getting white on me and then all of a sudden I assume this is death. Uh, it's my coral beauty has been nipping at whatever, um, trying to get something off there. Um, you know, I moved it next to the mushrooms but I didn't see like them being close enough to sting anything. Um, you know, the flow is pretty good up there. I've got a wave maker cruising. Um, I have not done par meter readings. So uh, I really can't tell you what the par meters were. Um, my last ditch effort was to cut off the living tips and glue them to a rock like you see here. And as you can see, their polyps are extended. That's as far extended as they've been since uh, purchasing this coral three weeks ago. And uh, I'm just starting them over. I really want to try and move them from the bottom to the middle. My ideal location was up top, of course, but these may just have to go reside somewhere else. I don't know, I guess I have a lot of real estate still free, maybe somewhere next to the Ghani. I can glue it up against that rock if they survive, so. I uh, just wanted to ask for any tips out there, if anyone had any ideas. Um, in the forums, all I saw was alkalinity being the major problem, but I tested all of my parameters, and they actually registered as perfect as I would imagine perfect would be. I know my alkalinity wasn't a 10, but it was 8, which most everyone can agree that 8 is more than enough to sustain bird's nest. They're supposed to be some of the easiest SPS corals to grow. Uh, phosphates are down almost zero. Um, calcium's at 413. Uh, Nitrates are at 13, and that's after going two weeks without a water change. Um, the only thing I haven't tested was magnesium, but no one seems to say that's a big killer for these guys. So, if anyone has any ideas, you know, I they went from a radion light to uh, my Aqua Illuminations Hydro 26, and as you can see. They're about 18 inches from that rock, and I thought they'd just be cool. So, bummer, I lost the uh, big bird's nest. That was a fun piece to have up there. It looked really cool. And my next mission will be to keep these guys alive. So, hopefully they do well down here, and polyps stay extended, and everything else is cool. But any suggestions or advice, I mean, that's really why I'm putting this video out here. I'll try and follow it up one of these days with whatever solution worked or didn't work but uh thanks for watching and have a great day